we're going to continue on the wool picker today and Maggie's going to sand some of these little jigsaw puzzles that I did. Um, it's back to the tedious part of mixing up the, um, yeah, the epoxy and we'll get them all glued. Okay, so I got uh, them all glued up. If we have enough, we'll probably do the back side too. Maggie's standing away on these little things here. Look at this guy. Cute little dinosaur. They look so much better after they've been sanded a little bit. So I think we're going to sell these too. Like five bucks a piece? Does that sound right? Buy three, get one free? You know, four for under 20. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, at any rate, uh, I got to let these dry overnight and uh, then I think we can assemble, or I might have to redo a couple of the pieces, the the radius. Uh, I did them at 19, and they're supposed to be 18 and something. I may just try assembling it loosely and see if I can adjust that out somehow. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the and bend the steel for this... Uh, swing frame and uh, I made a little mark here at 43 is it's 43 overall um, you know I bet you each bend takes up a little bit of space I'll have to yeah at any rate I'm gonna try this uh, so I just tried to bend up these cradle arms and um, you know I imagine you would probably use a what they call a break to do this but all I got is a vise and um, this is eighth inch steel so uh, at any rate the shape is close but it's definitely not like sharp angles so I imagine that's gonna shorten my overall length a little bit but uh, I'm gonna bend up the other one and see if I can't get it um, as close as I can to this one and um, then you got to drill the holes and cut the bar and I think we can do the first like dry assembly okay so here's what I came up with for those swing arm bands uh, I got them pretty close to each other I'm sure I can adjust them more but I'm gonna have to get them in the cradle part to see where the final bend is because really just kind of doing it by feel I can't get a real accurate bend out of a vice or a hammer uh, so just doing the best I can